To find the molecular formula, what you need to realize is that the empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio for that formula that's possible. CH2Cl is the lowest whole number ratio, but it actually might not be that formula. We were told in the question that through mass spectroscopy, perhaps, uh, which is just take a gaseous form of this compound, inject it into a big machine, and it breaks it down and it calculates the molar mass, it gives you a molar mass of 98.96 grams per mole. Well, that's not this number here, which is actually the molar mass for this compound. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? You take the empirical molar mass and divide it into the molar mass that you get for the molecular compound to get the real molecular formula. This way. Obviously, this divided into this gives you the number 2, which means that the molar mass is twice as big as this number, which means the formula is twice as big, which means you multiply every element by 2. So the real formula for the compound is C2H4Cl2. And in the organic unit, that is actually a substance that is an alkane, but it's disubstituted with chlorine, so it would actually be dichloro, it could be 1,1-dichloro or 1,2-dichloroethane. Where do I run and hide? Don't worry. If this question looks really tough, it can be really broken down into simple parts to be able to answer. But right away, it can be quite intimidating. Because here you've got a compound, you don't know how many carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens are in this formula. You know the mass of it. You're told that it undergoes combustion to form this much CO2 and this much H2O. Now go back and find the formula for that compound. Okay. You have to be told, and you were in this question, that all of the carbon in the combustion is then found in the CO2, and all of the hydrogen present in the combustion is found in the H2O. If you're told that, that complete combustion occurs, okay, now you can set it up this way. You know that this is the mass of CO2, but do you know the mass percent of carbon in CO2? Because if you do, you can actually figure out how much carbon is present in that sample of 1.53 grams. This is how you do it. 1.53 grams of CO2. Here is the mass percent, really, okay, of C in CO2. It's 12.01 grams of C divided by the entire molar mass. That's the mass percent, isn't it? Yeah, we've gone over that. Okay. So when you do that for the CO2, and you do this for the H2O, 0.939 grams, times, here's the mass percent of hydrogen in H2O, look at, there's, it's H2, 2.02, divided by 18.02, right? You get two numbers that give you the mass of carbon and hydrogen that are present in this and this. But we were told, all of the carbon here is in here. All the hydrogen here is in here. And so therefore, those are the masses of the carbon and the hydrogen in that compound. All we have to do is find the oxygen and we've got the mass of each of those elements in the compound. Oh, then it's going to be just like an empirical type of formula question. Oh, we can do that. So, how do you find out how much oxygen was in here? Well, quite simply, 0 0.800 grams of total minus those two masses here added together of the carbon and the hydrogen give you the oxygen. So here's the oxygen at 0.278 grams. Now to finish. 0.2. 